Last, was the last chapter? I think it was the last chapter. We learned how to say where we were going. When we were going to a place using ir plus a. Today, we're going to learn about using ir plus a plus infinitive to say what we are going to do. Alright, that is what we're going to talk about. So we're not going to be talking about where we're going, like we did last time. It's what we're going to do. Alright, so what does the word verb ir mean? To go and to do something that's a verb, that's an action. So the first step with this is to take our verb ir, which is to go, and we need to conjugate it. Okay? Now, the way we're going to be using this, again, have you ever said, I'm going to study? Well, you probably not said that. So I'm going to play video games, right? Something that you're going to do. That's what we're talking about. You know, we're going to go to the movies. Okay? That's talking about something you're going to do. So we take the verb here to go. And we remember the conjugations of it. Let's look. What's the yo form? Yo voy. That the tu form would be what tu vas. vas. Okay. Then we have el, ella, usted, which is va. Okay. Then we have nosotros, which is vamos, and we have ellos. Ellas, ustedes, which is van. All right, let's look at those real quickly. Is anybody confused on what they mean? Forget. What does yo voy mean? It means I go, but it's also am going, like in this case. Okay. Tu vas means you go or are going. El ella va is what? He or she goes or is going. It's also usted va is the same as this but formal. Nosotros vamos would be we go or we are going. Okay. And ellos ellas van means or you said this, they or you all go. Or are going. Are they going to van? Right. Okay. Now I put both of them there because when we do conjugate verbs, yo hablo as I speak. Yo hablo can also be I'm speaking. Right? Depending on you. You've also got the present progressive, which we learned at the end of the year. Estoy hablando, which is the same thing. You know, it's similar. Okay. So we use our form of ir. And then I mentioned last time that most of the time we use this verb ir, the next the, the the word that follows is what? There's a hint. Letter A. Ah. Voy a. Ah. So pretty much having voy a ah together is like saying I'm going to. Remember we learned like voy a ah la biblioteca. I'm going to the library. In this case, we're not talking about a place. We're talking about what? Something that we are going to do. Which is a Verb. It's a verb. Now we have an infinitive. What's an infinitive? Right. Okay. An infinitive is a non-conjugated verb. All right. Now look. How many verbs do we have in this? Two. Because of our two-verb rule, remember the first one's conjugated, so this one will not be. So an example, is there something that someone in here is going to do today? What are you going to do? Sit. You are going to sit. Okay. So Joe is going to sit. So Aya, right, because you're a girl. Aya. Aya what? Sit is, it's a 
reflex ever. We haven't learned those yet, but it would be sentarse. And because it's reflexive, meaning it's just going to sit. So, ella va a sentarse. Okay, anyone else? Anybody get deep today? Sometimes. Okay, so you guys are. So I can say ellos or ustedes, because I'm guessing, every, is there in here that's not going to eat today at all? So it's pretty good. All right, so ustedes, why did I use ustedes? What does that mean? You guys, who said this what? Van a said this van a comer. I just said you guys are going to. Any questions about um, using the ir plus an infinitive? Anything that I can explain?